Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Thornton Farm. So here we are in the main yard and we've got this rogue bale on the bale grab. So this should probably be solved straight away because it's not really serving any purpose here. We already have loads. I think we do have to reconnect it though. So we'll just grab onto the bale, lift it up and we'll put it into the cell trigger which is just over here. We actually do have the uh, vintage bale stacker in the uh, cell point, so we'll have to get that moved out of the way first of all. And then we'll just put this one in there. I'm not going to sell any bales just yet, but we will be doing. Right, we'll just take it off, stick it in reverse, and throw it into the cell point and see what money we can get from this. We can actually see this before we sell it. Um, if we jump out, uh, there we go. 140 pounds. So in you go. Yes, 140 pounds better off. So today we're not really going to be doing anything to do with the bales at all. What we're going to do is just put them in the shed there. We're going to keep them on the trailer. And for the rest of the video, we are most likely going to be muck spreading. So we do need to get the very small Marshall muck spreader up and going and we do have another trailer load of manure to take up to field number 8 I think it is uh, no it's not, for, it's 36 how did I get it so wrong? field number 36 needs another trailer load of manure I have actually given the cows a load of straw off screen using the straw we already had ok we'll put that just there and we'll put the tractor on this bale collector thing and put it back into the cell point. It's not a bad place to store it, but it's obviously in the way at the moment. Okay, full lock, hopefully. It'll just go straight in there. Almost. There we go. Okay, so, I don't think we need the Massey Ferguson today. Um, we are gonna use a T7 because it's a handy tractor to have. It's rented. So you might as well use it. You might be wondering about the harvesting. We are still harvesting field 11. Like I say, we're going to do most of that off screen. I might do a bit on screen, but not too much. And I do need to put the grab back onto the JCB because we obviously need to muck out the cows again. I think they haven't got loads of manure, but there should be enough for this trailer. It should fill it. We're going to be using the Massey Ferguson 698 to spread the muck. There we go. Okay, where did I put the muck grab? I can't remember. But we do need to take the bale grab off first. So, yeah, it can go in the same shed as the bales. I just need to remember to move it first of all, otherwise we're going to crush it. There we go. And yeah, where did I put it? Where did I put the muck grab? I can't remember. I totally missed it. I can't believe it. I should have remembered that I put it here. Let's drop the gears down a bit. And we'll just attach to that. Hopefully it doesn't jump up. Good. And we'll go and load up the trailer. Love doing this. It's a therapeutic job. We'll open the cow shed up and we'll begin to scoop. I think it actually only takes about three or four scoops. It doesn't take much at all. Uh, it's actually a, a decent sized grab that. If we were using the one on the tractor, it would take forever. Uh, but this one is very good. Right, that didn't take long at all. That was easy. Go in cab view. And this time, the trailer will show 100% before it was showing, I think, 70 or 80 something because I had the muck grab on. I forgot that it actually does combine the two. So thank you to everybody who did point that out. Um, it made it look like it was a glitchy trailer, but no, the trailer is perfect. It was just me being silly as usual.
That is 51% full. So we need two more. The second grab we do here probably won't empty into it fully. Put a bit more in the back. There we go. And that is 86% full. Just a tiny bit left then. And then we'll be ready to go. But I think we'll probably take the other tractor up with us. Right, that will do. Wow, it's looking like a loaded trailer. Because that's what it is, what a stupid thing to say. No, I meant it, yes, it's fully loaded. It looks to be more full than it used to be, last time we did this. Um, but yeah, it's a very handy trailer. Here you go, have your poo back, we don't want it all. Okay, so we are going to need the JCB, because this is going to load up the muck spreader. And we're going to need the 698, and we're going to need the T7. So, a lot of machinery required for this video. Um, yes, we do need to buy the muck spreader first of all. I'm hoping we will be able to afford it. You would have thought we'd be able to. Um, it's going to be in which category? I don't know. Where is it going to be? Muck spreaders? I would have thought so. Here we go. So, we've got a choice of two. I was going to go with this one. And actually, that is the only one we can afford anyway, so yes, we're going to go with this one. Uh, we need to buy it, go outright. Uh, we don't have much money left at all, so we're going to have to sell something next episode. But, yeah, that is all good. We'll fold the grab up. We'll uh, tilt it back. And then we'll head over to the store. But we might go via the field to drop the telehandler and the trailer off. Let's get this thing fired up. Yeah, I haven't used this for a while. It has been greatly missed. Uh, yes, see you at the shop. Okay, so I've gone this way. Um, it doesn't go via Field 36, which is unfortunate. So we are going to turn up at the dealership with a trailer full of dung, which I'm sure will be greatly appreciated. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're going to pick up the muck spreader. I'm sure they'll understand when we tell them what we're doing. Oh, 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 oh. Careful. Yes, there we go. Come on. Everyone pull out before the car. Quickly. Yes. Yes, keep going. We've done it. There it is. There is the muck spreader. And this is obviously going to go on to the Massey Ferguson. I think this will be a good setup. I'm hoping it's going to have enough horsepower. You would have certainly thought it would do. I can't see why it wouldn't be able to power it. Uh, I don't know if you can switch it on. No, you can't switch it on if it's empty. So we'll have to try it when it's full. But yeah, off we go. Back to the field. Right, there is a clear period to pull out here. We shouldn't have any accidents at all. Beacons, everyone. We all have to have our beacons. Yes. Right, so there shouldn't be any accidents now, I'm hoping. We need to continue on to field 36. Where we will be able to begin. I don't know if we'll have enough to finish the field, but if we don't, we can finish off later on because there is more at the farm. But that is the field in question. It is quite a big field for such a small muck spreader. Um, thinking about it, we might have to plough it first. I, I wouldn't have thought so. In real life you would be able to do this without ploughing first. I just don't know if you would recognise this as a new crop to fertilise, if you know what I mean. I'm not too sure. But we'll give it a go. Hopefully it will work. I think actually it does remove the fertilised texture when you harvest the field, so I'm hoping this is going to work quite well. But we need the muck spreader just here. We need to. Whoa! Oh, that was close. 
we need to tip the trailer into the pile and then we need to get the JCB to load it up. Right, tip. There we go, so the pile is now a lot fuller. We actually don't need the new holder now for the rest of this episode, so that can go at the side of the field. There we go, stay there. Um, but we do need the JCB quite a bit. Drop the gears down once again and begin the loading process. I just really hope this works. Right, it is filling, there we go. working. Uh, it looks like it's going to be about two and a half grab loads, which really does mean that we're not going to have enough here, but we can make a good start. It, it's going to make an interesting video nonetheless. I do think the JCB is too quiet. It used to be very loud. If you were to download this for yourself, it would be quite loud. I dropped it by 75% which is an awful lot and too much so I think I do need to add about 10 to 20% volume back onto it again just to make it sound the right level so it's balanced with the other machines. And the third load which we won't finish but that's fine. We should hit the actual thing. There we go. So, it begins. The smell, actually you know it probably isn't that smelly. But yes, it begins. Here we go. I think if we start at the bottom, it will make it easier to keep track of where we've been. And obviously the, the heap is up there anyway. Yes, this is gonna be very difficult with all the straw textures on the ground. So, I'm hoping it'll work, but I can't guarantee it. It is working, it's working. Yes, you can just about see it under there. It would have obviously looked better on a ploughed field, but who cares, it's working. Yes. And this is obviously fertilizing the field, ready for the next crop. I'm not too sure how far it's throwing. Not too far, but it's not very big. So we're not really in any rush to finish this field. We're just going to do a little bit at a time. Every time we have enough manure to do this, we'll just come up to this field and spread it. And I always do come back to mentioning this certain YouTuber, but you know, I, I can't help it. The videos are too interesting. Funky Farmer, this is what he does. I think he actually uh, positions the muck spreader underneath the, uh, the ramp or whatever you want to call it, um, where they then push, when they muck the cows out they then push it straight into the muck spreader and then I'm guessing at the end of each day or every few days he then goes out to the field and spreads it on the field so yeah love the idea of that and I'm basically turning reality into simulation yes but yeah love the idea and that is basically what we're doing here yes we're virtually empty again Incredible. There we go. Is it worth going again? I suppose it is. And we can uh, totally fill it next time. I wonder if you'd work in a, in a circle actually. Would you go across there and then over to the top? So you're not driving on what you've just done? I'm not too sure. But there we go. Back up to the JCB, ready for the next load. Good setup though, works well.
Yeah, that massive focusing is quite loud. Maybe it's just because this is so quiet. It seems to be louder when you're in a different vehicle than when you're actually driving it. You might need to have its sound decrease slightly. I'm not too sure. Right, number two. Yes, it, it literally is number two, actually. This is a number two, meaning poo. Make sure I get most of it in there. We don't want to spill any. The heap is decreasing in size quite dramatically. In fact, is it empty? It, it virtually is. There is a tiny bit left, I think. So it's been short lived, but fun while we're doing it. It's certainly a fun job. Maybe not in real life. Oh, too far away. Oh, I can hear it going splat. Lovely. Yeah, there is a tiny bit left, probably about 3%. This should empty it. There we go. Put the grab down, and let's go and spread. Everyone loves a bit of spreading. Not the spread you put on your sandwiches, though. And we're off. Off for another load. I need to stay relatively straight, otherwise we're going to be missing quite a bit. If I do miss a bit here and there, it's not the end of the world. But obviously, ideally, we need to get as much coverage as we can do. Very realistic, I think. Wait, it throws it out. Looks very good. Right, so just going back over what I just did because I always forget that you, where, you, where you're travelling it's not fertilising so you're always missing bits I'll have to bear this in mind for next time well that's working well ten percent left let's just go and put the last of the grab in you can just about see the darker texture hoping to do some more of this in the future, probably not too long. Oh, don't tip it on the ground, what a waste. Useless, useless. Yes, we do have more of those, so it's not the end of the world, and they're always producing. I suppose that is one thing that is very good about an animal, a cow to be specific. They are always producing more manure. We actually do have a lot of liquid fertiliser as well, liquid manure, meaning slurry. Um, but I don't think we have a slurry spreader. We should probably invest in one. So we're travelling on where we've been before to make sure we always spread where we haven't been yet. That's the plan. Oh, it's already empty. I think I literally did tip most of that last load on the ground, which was not good. Um, but yes, this can stay here. Um, I think we'll take the T7 back because it's going to be needed and possibly, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll leave the uh, just Massey Ferguson here, we'll take the JCB back too. There we go. So yeah, we should do some more of that very soon in the future. Right, so we do need to get this field done. Before the end of this series this field will be totally fertilised and ploughed, cultivated seeded and finally harvested. It might be, I think it will be actually, a potato field. It's not going to be a cereal. So yes, the irrigating mod will be used, we'll be doing some irrigating. Some people find it interesting, some people find it a bit boring, um, but we do need to do that, so yes, that will be in the future. Let's just fold that grab up fully, lift it up, put it on to follow me, and we'll be off. but not without the beacons. We do need the beacons. It's very important. Health and safety is very strict these days. Oh wait, the JCB doesn't even have a beacon. I think you can add one though. It is possible. 
using hard points, but I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, I love this area. It's an area which looks more like Sandy Bay than Thornton Farm. That would be because it's the same mo the same mapper, but yes, it does seem different. Where's JCB gone? It is still... Oh, it's still in gear one. There we go. Here it comes with speed. Yes, that is something I do need to remember. You have to change its gear before you put it on to follow me, otherwise it is going to be going at a snail's pace. There are many things I do need to write down because otherwise I do forget. And it should be okay on the junction providing we slow down first. It needs to catch up with us, otherwise it's going to crash at high speed. Where is it now? Oh, there it is. Come on, keep coming. Uh, it's, it's still going to crash. Incredible. Anyway, there's the combine. It's waiting to be unloaded. We should really resume. Maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I was just giving it a bit of a break because harvesting is something we have done so much recently. Um, I think if you did harvesting every single day, there is only so much you can take. So it's nice to do different things. Always nice to diversify the work. Anyway, that is it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It has been something which I don't usually do, which is what I'm always trying to look at. I don't want to keep repeating myself doing the same jobs over and over. It is hard to do, I know, because Farming Simulator and farming in general does consist of very similar jobs because you have to keep doing them. For example, spraying. You do have to keep keep up on your spraying, otherwise your crops are going to either have very poor productivity or they're going to die. So, yeah, it is hard to get the, the balance there, but I'm trying my best, so hopefully you do appreciate the videos. I know a lot of you do, which does mean a great deal to me. Um, but yes, uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be doing something different again, but we'll have to see. It may be just harvesting, but yes, I'll have a good think about what we can do and go from there. We'll just put that back into its position and we'll call it a day. So thank you very much for watching as usual and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.